Hello, I'm Tremor Boy. Uh, we're doing stationers today. We're gonna do a bunch of quality of life mining stuff today. If you don't have time to wait around for that, we're gonna build these sensor lenses and that sensor processing unit for ore scanning. And a weather station. We need a weather station. First thing we need to do is make a connel. I connel. A connel? And connel has just made a gold, nickel, and steel in a two to one to one ratio. Maybe we write that on the screen. My issue is 23.5 to 24 megapascals. And the temperature doesn't matter. It just has to be over 600 Kelvin. Now that we have all our ingredients in there, we're just going to tweak the pressure around because we're not that worried about the temperature, right? It just has to be over 300 Celsius. Oh, my furnace is manual. I don't, I don't know how to automate it. I mean, I have an idea, but I don't like it. So that's not the right ratio for this. Um, we're going to add some more nickel. Weird how that just pops right out when you follow the instructions. My instructions, the thing I verbally said out loud to you, didn't do. Completely ignored myself. Okay, let's uh, let's go do this thing. And the lenses pop out. Man, that's slow. Now that we have our sensor lenses, the first thing we're gonna do is paint them black. We're gonna make this sensor processing unit and put it in the glasses. Maybe I already explained that. Okay, let's put this all together. Oh, we need a battery. Uh -huh. Chip, battery, and then we're gonna put the glasses on our face. And we're gonna turn them on. It didn't make any sense turning them on inside. That was dumb. On, and now we can see all the ore. This was my pro tip. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just thought it'd be helpful. And I thought the title sounded clickbaity. But then not actually clickbait, because I did actually do something that is a tip. We're going to knock out this weather station real quick, because the storm is such a pain in the ass. When you're trying to do stuff, this will at least give you a little bit of warning that one is coming. The weather station is pretty simple to construct, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Plastic and a welding torch. Because that's how you put plastic together in real life. I have no idea. I don't know why I said that like an a-hole. So there it is constructed. Cool. Lights green, no storm. If a storm is coming, the light will be yellow. If there is a storm here, the light will be red, and you'll know because all your sh will be blowing away in the wind. We're gonna put this thing up there. How am I ever gonna see that light? We're gonna build logic. Countdown? Timer? I don't, I don't know what to call the thing we're making. So we need logic reader. We're gonna use a batch writer in case we wanna hook up multiple consoles. So then also a console. I'm going with a big LED display, apparently. I'm gonna wire this up. Hang on. Wired. <laughs> um, as far as setting it, so the inn's gonna be the weather station. Obviously, it's what we're doing here. The variation will be next weather event time. On the batch writer, the inn will be the logic reader. The out's gonna be whatever your display is. Mine's the large LED display, and the variation's just gonna be setting. We're going to turn it all on and nothing's going to happen. So when a storm does happen, that'll start a countdown. And if the storm is happening, I have no idea what it tells you when a storm is happening. I assume you just know that a storm is happening because they're terrible. You guys want to build some more stuff on that? We put like a flashing light on it. Batch writer number two, we're going to use the same logic reader. I'm not going to build another one. The out type will be that flashing light and the variation is just on. So when the storm is approaching, that yellow light should start spinning. It says flashing, but I think it spins, man. I think it's a liar. You guys want to build some stuff while we wait for a storm? I mean, that's that's what we're going to do. I can't hear you, so... I want to make this hard suit jetpack. I mean, we're going to make the whole hard suit right now, but I'm going to start with the jetpack. We need wasp alloy, which is lead, silver, and nickel in that stupid 211 ratio, but... Again, it's the pressure and temperature I'm not 100% on. The pressure is 50 megapascals. And the temperature, the temperature is like between 400 Kelvin and 800 Kelvin, which I just Googled is like 126 degrees Celsius to 526 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to bring the pressure up to 75 megapascals and then we'll just let it cool and hope it stays above 50. It's gonna blow up. This is gonna explode. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a bad time. 
That noise does not instill me with a lot of confidence in my plan here. What do you think the maximum pressure of the furnace is? It's 60 MPa. That was not a good plan. We're gonna we're gonna try and cool it with ice. This seems like a bad idea. Okay, let's put this in. I mean, yeah, it dropped the temperature, but we lost a bunch of pressure. But that's okay. We're gonna have to get the water out of the furnace later, but I think this might work. Hang on. Holy crap, that worked. <laughs> I mean, the furnace is now full of water I have to drain out of it, but we made the alloy. Oh, cool, man. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put this in the machine, and I'm gonna drain... I'm gonna build a thing to drain all the water out. I can't believe that worked. The furnace is right now 25% water. And we're making stellite, which is just silicone, silver, and cobalt. Again, 211 and 10 to 20 megapascals? I don't think the temperature matters. I don't know. We've made it before. There's like a whole video about it. Maybe not a whole video, but we've definitely made it before. Yeah, it popped right. Oh, just need to box some pressure off. A little bit. There it is. Done. That was easy. Astroloy, which is steel, copper, cobalt, and 30 megapascals. Which is a hard word for me to say, and I hate it. Boom. Done. Uh-oh. Rolling away. Hard suit jetpack. We have everything we need to make a hard suit now. Why did I point at myself? I'm not wearing one. Backpack. Uh huh. I'm gonna paint it a color, but I don't know what color. Maybe black. You know, something formal. Like a going out suit. I'm gonna paint the backpack red. Yeah, and I'm gonna paint the rest of it black. So I'm all stealthy or whatever. That's my storm warning system working. And that's the end of today's video. Next week, we're doing something with food. And I'm gonna show you a bunch of cool stuff that I built. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. You have a good day. Not all gamers are pro.